Ale Nonyema, Obi Kubana, and others think that keeping silent when their people are being killed will make Fulani to place value on them. I know that Obi Kubana will be very surprised to have received such invitation from Fulani because we are synergizing with our Safulani. You want to have a good relationship with them. You want to have a good level playing ground with them so that your business will strive. Then you are underestimating what a Fulani man can do. Ali Enonyema has been preaching one Nigeria. How are they treating you? How is Fulani treating you today? You guys are underrating the Fulani people. You don't know what they can do. I don't know what you people call a great man or the definition of a great man. But in my own definition, Obi Kubana is not a great man. Imoni is not a great man. Joey Zazi is not a great man. Ali Enonyema is not and can never be a great man. Adeze is not a great man. And many of them, all your billionaires, they are not great men. They are not close to greatness. They don't have any business with greatness. I place value on Chinwe Telago more than those people that you value so much. I place value on Ugeze, J. Ugeze, more than all these people that you place, that you love so much. Do you think that greatness is all about going to your village and sharing two, two million naira to the villagers? Do you think that is greatness? Do you think that greatness is by going to your village to share money to the people? That is not greatness. A great man doesn't keep silent when his people have been butchered and killed. Those people that you have been giving to two million naira, do you know if they are still alive? You can't be a great man when your community is under siege. There is nothing like greatness in your DNA. When your community is under siege, Fulani invaded your community. Your, your, the women in your village cannot go to farm again. And as a billionaire, a rich man, you don't even say anything about it. The people you gave one, one million, do you think they are still alive? Their foot soldiers are killing them in the east. And you don't say anything because you want to have relationship with Indiawasa. You think because you want to have relationship with Fulani, then you don't talk about your people. And Fulani will accommodate you. They will still put, this is just number one episode. More episodes are coming. Where is Ibeto Cement? Where is Ibeto? Ibeto Cement is supposed to be competing with Dangote Cement. But where is he today? Ale Nonyem have cried, cried, cried. He can't cry again. He's now shouting one Nigeria. You people have not seen anything. Ale Nonyem is deceiving himself. He knows that he's deceiving himself. When they call you third class citizens, these people kept you as third class. And you collected, you, you took this position wholeheartedly without questioning this position they gave you. As only you, they gave you third class citizen. And you did not antagonize that, that position they gave you. If you are not third class, why is one Nigeria, why is Nigeria, why are the Northerners only benefiting this one Nigerian bullshit that you guys are preaching every day? Why are you people begging us in Dibu? Why are you begging? Why are you begging them for your business to strive? How many of them have, they, have EFCC invited before? All those criminals they have in the north. How many of them have called, have EFCC invited? And you think that you want to synergize with the north. You want to synergize with Fulani people. When you, when you, you don't want to talk about your own people. You say, after all, if I talk about these people now, these Fulani people will be angry. I know they are killing them in the east. Let me just pretend like nothing is happening. Let me pretend so that my business will not crumble. Let me pretend so that my business will not collapse. I will go back in Christmas time and dash them money. And you think you're a great man like that. You live in Abuja and in Lagos. Why they are butchering your people? And you can never make any comment about it. You can't even say it on your Instagram or your Facebook. And you are enjoying... Abuja right, and you think Fulani will accommodate you. You've not seen people have not seen anything. You are third class citizen and they will treat you like that. Where is Shagumi? Shagumi will come on a national television and protect the interests of bandits, criminals. He will even tell you, warn you not to call them bandits. And everybody is silent about it. Our evil people are silent. 
If Shagumi was one of Kongo Neji from um, Ekulodia, they could have gotten rid of him. If Shagumi was Ike Chukunjoku from Newi, he couldn't have been alive today. Fulani could have taken him down. But where is Shagumi today? He's walking free. Nobody is persecuting Shagumi. And he's negotiating for the bandits. But our evil people, how many of you evil men can stand and defend IPOP without shivering? IPOP, that is a legitimate organization. Look at them. If they want to talk about IPOP, they'll be shaking. They'll be shivering. They're scared. And they say they're not third class citizens. You are not third class. Let's even forget IPOP. Talk about evil people. Talk about the siege, the, the foot soldiers in your community that the, the full and invaders. They can't talk about their own people. Sometimes they will even criticize their own people. Ndibo. That is why you see our traditional rulers and our religious rulers behaving like, behaving like useless people that they are. Our traditional rulers, religious rulers, are even scared. I don't even want to talk about that, those puppets that call themselves governors. They can't talk about their own people. But look at the way Shagumi is proudly talking about his people. What our traditional rulers and religious rulers will not do. And you have forgotten that all of you will die someday. The day of reckoning is coming. God will ask you questions. You will give account of your soul. When you were on earth, why weren't you talking? When your people were being killed, why were you silent? And you will tell God the reason why you were silent. They will push you where you belong to. Continue drowning in your ignorance. Continue dying out of ignorance. While the house have taken over everything. Dangote is striving because he's a full animal. If Dangote was to be an evil man, by now his business could have been closed a long time ago. Every day we hear Dangote trailer have failed break. Dangote trailer failed break and killed 100 people, 200 people, 50 people, 10 people. We come on Facebook and talk about it around and it will be swept under the carpet. Dangote will still be doing his business. How many times have they invited Dangote? If an evil man was the owner of Dangote trailer, they could have said, how come an Inyamiri? An Inyamiri trailer will be killing our people. Shut that business. Dangote business couldn't have been working any longer. If an evil man was the owner of Dangote group, you will not hear it again. But Dangote is still striving because he's a full animal. Do not underestimate what a full animal would do to you. They are the owners of Nigeria and they told you before. Why are they angry with you? They are angry with you because after the civil war, they gave you only 20 pounds. And they are still yet to understand how managed we gave these people 20 pounds and we are still hearing of billionaires. For anybody that have over, even if you have one billion dollars in your account after the civil war, they gave our evil men 20 pounds and they started afresh. And they are still very angry with that. That's why Fulanis are having sleepless nights. When they see you progressing, they are angry. Don't forget that I am a product of Kanu State riot. I was born in the north. I should be in a position to tell you how Hausa people reason. How Fulani reason. They have this hatred in their hearts for you. I've told you these things countless times and you think I'm lying. All these Kanu State riots that you always hear. They did Kanu riot. They scattered people property. They did this. What is the cause of the riot? Jealousy. How Saf Fulani is always jealous of Ndibo. How can evil people leave the east? Come to their place and dominate their place. And they are striving in their business. Their business is moving. They are gaining momentum. They are making headway in everything they are doing. We cannot allow it to happen. The next thing we hear is riots have started. They will start destroying properties. Why were they targeting indeed with property in the north? Because of that same jealousy. And you want to think that these same people that don't like you will bring you close to them. Sit on a round table with you. Discuss with you. Allow your business to strive. Then you don't know what you are doing. You are a confused man if that is what you believe. If you think by leaving your people, ignoring your people, just to answer Hausa loyalty, just to be loyal to Hausa, that Hausa will not remember you when it's time. I'm sorry to tell you this, Obi Kubana, but they will open your file. Ale no they will open your file. Where is he Beto today? Where is he Beto? On the eve of an election, Pulion Van was discovered in Tinubu's house. The last time I checked, Pulion Van can only be seen in commercial banks. 
The work of a bullion van is to distribute money to all these commercial banks. Tinubu House is not a commercial bank. What is Pullion Van doing in the house of Tinubu? If it was an evil man that owns that Pullion Van, by now that evil man could have been forgotten. He could have been rotten in Kuja prison. But Tinubu is still walking freely because he is not an evil man. And you still talk about you are one Nigeria. One Nigeria is just in the mouth. Practically, there is nothing like one Nigeria existing and you know the truth. I promise you all that I will use the truth and cause you people deaf and dumb. That truth that you don't like to hear, because you are Africans, you don't know anything. I keep telling you people that your brains are empty. That is why you continue praising people. You continue praising these men, calling them names because they give you one million, two million. But when you are dying, this man will not come. When you are dying, this man will not walk to these offices. Walk inside these offices and tell them, why are you people killing my people in the east? What is going on in the east? Serious siege. They are killing people. They are foot soldiers. What you, an evil man, cannot do in the north? Let's reverse this case. That an evil man is the president of Nigeria. An evil man dominated everywhere. And that same evil man will can't take evil soldiers, go to the north and be killing northerners. It will never happen. That is why I call you people third class citizens. You are nothing but a third class citizen in Nigeria. You think by keeping quiet, they are going to bring you close to themselves. Why are they angry with you? Because of the civil war. After that civil war, that 20 pound they gave you and you are still striving in business is giving them heart attack. They are angry. Fulani is angry that they took politics away from you. Ever since they created Nigeria, gave Nigeria independence, they have been at the ends of affairs. They are everywhere from heads of state to president to senior president, vice president. They are everywhere. They took your oil block. They collected everything from you. Yet, if they were still producing billionaires, Fulani is angry with that. Fulani, is, they are having heart attack. Your progress is giving them high blood pressure. They cannot sleep knowing fully well that you are still striving in your business. And you think the same people will sit on a table with you and believe you, trust you when you can't be loyal to your own people. Do you think that they will, they will accept the fact that you are going to be loyal to them? When you leave your people and run to Fulani, you are the only one that will regret it. Awosa is still angry that after the civil war, Ndibo are still progressing. How manage? And they will do everything within their power to make sure that they cripple your business. That is why they continue frustrating Ndibo. But they've forgotten that we are, we are, we are light. We are children of God. We are sun, you can't cover the sun. We are like star, no matter what, a star will continue shining morning, afternoon, night. If you frustrate us, kill us, we rejuvenate. That is who we are, we don't die. We are like seed, we come every day. We are evergreen, and it pains them. That their place is improvised. That they, they have all the political posts. And yet they have Alamajiri. Yet their place is nothing to write home about. They are asking, how are we, man how are we managing? Who is giving us these billions? They don't know we are children of light. Obi Kubana e money, like I said, Joey Zazi. I can never see you people as great men. The fact that you don't talk about the, the pains of your people. You are a billionaire and you think that, uh, let me not talk about them. If I talk about them now, it will affect my business. My business might, might not be working the way it's supposed to be working. When I talk about them, Fulani will not bring me closer to them. Let me just leave them. I ask them if I reach home in Christmas, I will give them one million. You think you're a great man like that. You are not a great man. You can never be great in my eyes like that. No, I don't see people like you as great, great men. You are, can only be a great man when you stand like a man and speak and speak for your people. Why are people running around in Namdekano? Is he giving them money? Is he Namdekano dashing people money? He's not dashing anybody money. He's only speaking for the people. How many people can you give two million naira, e money, Obi Kubana, Joey Zazi? How many people are How many people can you give two million naira? You can't give everybody two million. What the people need is total redemption. Total redemption. That is what they need. Not giving them money. Not giving people peanuts. That is
is why I keep saying that everybody is selfish. Everybody is playing serious game. Play games with the lives of the people. You are uh, an elite. You should use your position to speak in favor of your people. The last time I checked, Nelson Mandela never gave money. Nelson Mandela did not share money to people. But his name will forever be written in the sands of time. The same thing is applicable to Nam Dekan and many of them. If you don't speak, you are not nothing close to greatness. Support one Nigeria at your own detriment.